Hello and welcome back to The Evil Within 2. I'm your host, Social Solipsist, and before we get started, I have two quick notes. One is, even after making some graphical tweaks, um, I still cannot get this text to not be aliased. It's very strange. Like, has nobody heard of font smoothing? Or, I mean, at least anti-aliasing on the menu? It's very strange. I don't get it. Um, but the other thing is that between last episode and this one, I watched, uh, I rewatched through an entire, the entire quote unquote movie of the game and the DLC. I had forgotten that I had not seen all the DLC. Um, and the two Kidman DLCs are actually, uh, I would say more important than the core game of number one and have much more of a direct um, a direct effect on this game or inform this game more. Uh, I will try and touch on some of those things at some point throughout this game. I'm just going to assume that anyone watching it either has already seen or does not care about game one. Um, it's just how it's going to work. I'm not going to spoiler mark everything because, frankly, I can't figure out why you would be watching this if you care about that one and haven't watched it. Anyway. Um, so. Uh, what? Yeah, that's bizarre. Okay, so it's warning me that it's going to auto overwrite my autosave if I... I kind of assume that the continue button usually... Well, okay. <laughs> now I have to gripe about autosaves again. This is something I've griped about in a bunch of different games, but there is no reason why you should have to overwrite autosaves. Um... Games are enormous these days. Like, there used to at least be the excuse that, hey, it's a PS2. It's got egg, 8 megs of, of uh, uh, save space. Uh, we can't just save all the time. Um, even, like, a generation or two after that, you could make the argument of, oh, the memory cards still aren't that big. We don't want to load it up with a bunch of huge saves. That's not an excuse anymore. Every console and every computer has a terabyte of space in it. Um, if, if anybody has an actual technical problem with that, they need to get their brains checked. Uh, just autosave and do not overwrite things. Like, unless if... Also, if your saves are like hundreds of megs each, you probably fucked something up in your code. Um... You've just not done something right. I mean, the one game that I can think of that is a perfect example of this is, of course, uh, uh, Fallout and uh, Fallout Three and Fallout New Vegas, which have enormous saves because that engine is a disaster. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, yeah, I don't understand why loading my manual save that came after my autosave would overwrite my autosave. That is incredibly stupid. Go for it, you jackasses. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, let me remember. Okay, tab. To open that, uh, go outside and use your communicator. And then we've also got, he said there was a weapon that was nearby, I think. So, wait a minute, which one is the way out? Hello? Um. What am I... Am I missing something? I also can't... 
That looks glitched. Does anybody else see how there's a... Is the game already broken? I don't even have to press the button to kick it open. I just sprint into it and he automatically kicks it open. Oh. Well, okay. So it didn't want... It, told, it tells me that the, uh, the objective is to go back outside, but you can't go outside. Sebastian, you know who that is. It's only been three years. It's weird that it's a hold to move or hold the trigger and it has that like loading bar on it. Workbench is going to be used to craft ammunition, items with components and to upgrade weapons with weapon parts. Q is a weird button to dismiss the thing with. Okay, so I don't believe that this system is too crazy. Um, huh. Um, okay, so I've got 20, f wait. How many weapon parts? I have 25 weapon parts, or that's how much this costs? Oh. Gotcha. Okay. I have no recollection of this. Right, so field crafting is less efficient, but you can do it. Detective Castellanos, what a pleasant surprise. Welcome back. You again? How are you here? I could ask you the same question. Regardless, it's nice to see a familiar face. Even if that face has seen far too much. You look tired, Detective. I can help you get back in shape. Just like before. So this is all a reference to uh, Sebastian's experiences in the first game. Uh, Tatiana was the sort of guide character in the safe room in the first game. Um, this is interesting. Okay. I do not have enough for that. I barely have anything. Can I afford anything? No, I think they're all gonna be 1500, aren't they? Well, that one's a thousand. Hmm. Okay, a little weird to send me in here when I don't have the, uh, don't have enough goo, but. play with the kitty. Yeah, 
Yeah, Q is the exit button for all of these things, which is very bizarre. I don't think there's anything new in here. So that's the other thing. The cat is actually not new. The cat shows up in... I mean, this is the first time Sebastian has seen it. But the cat shows up in the DLC for game number one as sort of a manifestation of part of Kidman's mind. Um, so... Okay, track the girl's voice, but how? Ah, I have to walk forward to do it, okay. Let's see if I can find this signal he mentioned. So I'm just like panning around at these markers. There's too many of them. Oh, we're screwed. There's too many of them. Suck it up, James. We've been through worse than this. And we're better armed this time. Or at least we will be once we raid the supplies. Come on. That must There's be the signal O'Neill mentioned. Suck it up, James. We've been through worse than this. G to unequip communicator. When locked on, the communicator will show the direction and relative distance of the locked on resonance point. Resonance points which have been locked onto will subsequently be shown on the map. Okay, so I can lock on to multiple different ones. But it's the only lead I've got. God, I hope it's Lily. There's too many of them. We're screwed. I want to go for the the weapon first. It's kind of a cool effect, the like, the, the jagged sort of light effect over the light sources. Welcome back to Silent Hill! Uh. Having just rewatched the first game, it's really astonishing. It's it's pretty astonishing how um, much of an improvement graphically it is from um, this game to the to the last one. What is that blinking? Uh, maybe not the best time to investigate. Well, Jesus, dude. Forgot it was F. Almost didn't get that. Ooh, an axe. Don't mind if I do. Hand axe. When acquired, the hand axe temporarily re replaces the survival knife in combat. It can instantly kill some enemies, but will break after a single use. Hand axes can be found around Union or taken from enemies. I don't get any goo from you. I need goo. I need goo. Those Give me the goo. Good question. That guy's still alive. Isn't he? Yes, maybe not. He's got glowy eyes. I sort of assumed he was. Wait, what? 
Why does it keep popping up like that? Okay. Fallen Mobius operative has been logged. Okay. Handgun bullets. Wait, what? Why is it telling me handgun bullets? Oh. Because it's literally talking about this. That's kind of interesting. Cool. Thanks, dude. I mean, I see you say smoke powder, but that says bread flour. This dry powder emits a plume of smoke when exposed to flames. This component can be used to craft useful items. So you guys are going to have to give me your opinion and um, let me know how you want me to do this. I could spend a lot of time wandering around Union. Um, I could either try and do it in chunks, um, like longer episodes where I'm just wandering around and not doing missions, and then shorter episodes for mission stuff. Um, or I could omit it entirely from videos and just do it on my own. Because um, there is some, like farming of resources and things to be done. And I think it's entertaining in its own right, but not everybody necessarily feels that way. Man, the like, the music's really good. It's like the low-level, non-diegetic ambient sounds. Ooh, Mobius resource cache. Don't mind if I do. Maybe fuse. Okay, small block type fuse from an electric junction box it cannot, unfortunately, be used to repair broken fuse boxes. <laughs> this component can be used to craft useful items. Okay. Oh. And a hatch. I don't know where this goes. Guess we're gonna find out what could go wrong. Oh, I actually have to interact with it. Well, this looks like something. E hold, go to the marrow armory. Um. Honestly, I don't really know what that means, but this computer's still working. We're gonna find out. Oh, geez, it's actually loading a whole level. What the? Fortunately, I had a nice speedy SSD to help me out. Wait, that's kind of bizarre. Two in a row like that. Is this like a teleportation system? I, I, I've genuinely forgotten a lot about this game. Mostly what I remember is the, um, the main plot stuff. Well, um, I guess we're going to wander around in here a little and hope that I haven't like gone somewhere incredibly dangerous for... Someone with 10 bullets and a pistol. Okay, 13 bullets. Mobius Underground Facility Floor Directory. 
This facility has been declared a restricted area by the authority of the commander in accordance with the provisions of the directive issued by Mobius. Well, that's a lot of babble. I'm not going to read that. Aha! Uh -huh. Give me your herbs. Just saved, which makes me nervous. I'm really hoping there's some nice resources down here. I would love a gun. That's what I was thought I was looking for, but... That's concerning. Well, that banging noise isn't necessary. Enemy alertness icon. When an enemy starts to become aware of you, an enemy alertness icon shaped like an eye will appear at the top of the screen. When the enemy becomes fully aware of you, the eye will fully open. When an enemy is starting to become aware of you because of noise you are making, sound wave icons will appear. Wait. Oh, whoops, that's that's the quick turn. Fortunately, I had the uh, axe, but I got hit anyway, which is unfortunate. Um, I did not think that... Uh, I thought that execution kill would be enough, but apparently that box is nothing. Isn't it? Or can I melee it? No. Hmm. Well. Um, got some scrap. Alright. Well, through here we go. Really don't know where I'm going. That's spooky. Metal pipe. A chunk of steel pipe with some rust on the ends. Not worth much as a, m much as a cudgel. Besides, you've got guns. This component can be used to craft. Did I see? I thought I saw some blinking there. Well, that's concerning. I love that he just naturally pulls the knife out. Thank you for the gel. See, that one went better. So I have to assume the... the the like lanky woman with the knife thing was a different type of enemy that is more dangerous and that's why it wasn't an instant kill. Use WS adjust and AD to adjust the width, okay. have to eat unlock it okay nice more bullets that looks promising both these things look promising what have we got oh very nice I will take it. Thank you. Um, I will make... Hold on. How do I do this? Is it... Yeah. Okay. 
Actually, I'm going to do one, two, three. I don't like that there's no dedicated button for heal. Wait, is that still? No, okay. What about in here? Hopefully something else nice. Whole bunch of materials. Thought maybe I could use that ladder. Okay, well, not too bad. It's a hell of a spread on that thing, but hey, I got a shotgun. Suddenly I feel a lot better. Uh, all right. So, I think I'm going to call the episode here, and uh, when we come back, we'll head out this door, I think. I think that's what that's about. We'll find out. See you guys then.